Look at that shit. Just got to the bus stop, Greg. Huh? Look at the white Jag. TTF 320. All right? You know, it's parked there strategically. Okay, as much as I talk about them using the number 32. All right? It looked like I missed the damn bus. You know, because uh, there were cars on the road that was slowing down the bus that I was on. I was on the, the, the number 35. And, uh, you know, I should have been able to make it for the bus. Right? But, of course, they got to slow the shit down. They got to, you know, put cars in front of the bus doing stupid shit. You know what I'm saying? Why? To keep me here waiting. You know what I'm saying? Because... You know this is this is what they do okay this is what they do man you know slowing so that i couldn't make the bus you know i would have just made it for the bus right i would have made it within a few minutes of the bus arriving but because you know they had cars uh stopping in the middle of the street you know that the bus is on and slowing down in front of the bus you know but again, this is the shit that they do. Uh, and of course, you know, you see? <laughs> uh, TTF 320. 320. The number 32. Okay? And just as you see the gray vehicle pull up, I keep telling you guys, this is what they're trying to do. Okay? And they're trying to use that number 32 to associate it with different uh things right even with people like with pam or the police sometimes you know uh it's just that's what you call anchors and triggers right so you know this is this is what they have been doing you know and it just really friggin uh, uh amazes me that people are so quiet about this shit about the crimes being committed against us ti's and nothing you know what I'm saying nothing is being done and you see just through from my experience I want to show you guys not only has this affected me negatively but my children all right their mother you know because I know that they've you know again they went to her and manipulated her into into targeting me and then she is doing things to try to manipulate me and you know and I know she's doing it to try to make whoever she's seeing uh, you know not I even try to make me jealous or try to make me hang on and try to lead me by a string which like I said I know what's going on so you know like I said emotionally I'm, I'm fine you know you know what I'm saying uh, this guy you know, he got his hand you know, a little hand signal in the car and he put his hands on his head you know and again, you know, like starting uh, when I left the house with the girl walking down the street with the shirt on and you guys said girl and here the, the, the police fireman. Um, you know, she had the word change on her, her shirt and I'm just like, wow. You know, but again, this is not about, well, they do change your behavior, you know, it's a negative one. And, uh, oh, here, here, look, 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 look. look. <laughs> Look, and WAPD, and 69 precinct. Okay. So. Oh, now he goes in. Oh, look, 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 look. As the as the car, cop car go roll by with flashing a red light. Now he goes in. All right. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, understand what it is that's, that, that they're doing, what's being done. You know, how they, uh, you know, how they, how they manipulate people, how they can change their behavior, how they can change their sexual preference. Okay? All through psychological manipulation and the use of uh, these technologies, right? The silent sound, special spectrum technologies, they can change you your sexual behavior they've tried to do it with me with gay men yeah, but again i understand what is happening what is going on a lot of us don't you know a lot of us have no idea of what is going on okay 
a lot of us think that you know uh a, you know a lot of people are born that way no people are created that way either through the trauma that they experience i'm not saying everybody now okay <laughs> just let me get this clear but there are a lot of people that have been created that way who have been turned that way either through traumatic experience such as sexual assault sexual abuse you know those sort of thing and the use of technology and manipulation to create uh, a an attraction within the minds of uh, a, a man to be attracted to another man there you go the bus see the bus number a lot of number 32 showing up right the bus number 9532 you see the red car pass by funny too because when I got off the bus as I hit, reached the corner to turn it was a red uh, vehicle with Florida plates uh, turned right in front of me you know so you see the number as a number bus with the number 9532 number 32 and then you see the red car pass by that's a theme that I want people to understand and see now he goes back in <laughs> across the street so he goes back in so you you know close and you know it's like again these are uh, they this subliminal about having a case against me and it's open or closed like if you're if you try to do things that's uh, positive in your life they're going to open up this case against you and so when they affect you negatively and they use the technology on you to manipulate you to you know uh, take away your memory or I, I have you i try to you know take away your intelligence you know and the break of your, your relationship you're now isolated you know then it's like it's what they use the color blue for that's what the color blue is for the blue is the color blue is to signify you know them putting you in a negative state in a not true state right so any anytime you're thinking about being happy the, the market should be more, more newer modern and they'll send you subliminal message and do things to not make you happy if you attempt to do anything positive they will send you subliminal messages do things to prevent you from accomplishing what you want to accomplish you know that that's positive okay and so understand this and see and the reason why uh you know they slowed the bus down so i couldn't get here to get the bus is because you know they had these things planned they had all these things planned out and so there's a reason why i want to show you guys this like i said i always want to show people my experience in this because it shows you how they can weaponize people how they can radicalize people anybody i mean they've you know we know that uh, you know we look at other cultures and how they radicalize people to the extreme and i talked about uh the nazis you know how they were doing this before they uh because they knew exactly what they wanted to do right with the european jews right the akhenazi jews and so they knew exactly what they wanted to do but they had to condition the german people to accept it right they have to create they have to create it create a mentality and personality within the german people and what did they do right they manipulated the people they they do things they blame the jews for the hardship that the german people was going through never mind they didn't tell them was because germany assassinated um uh king ferdinand i, f I forgot uh it was in austria or belgium one one of these places right and since they lost the war world war one they had to pay restitution okay so germany was in an economic uh depression because of that the german people was finding it hard to 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 live and to succeed okay then on the on, and then because the jews who have been a people who were merchants you know you can go back you know they have always been people who were merchants right because they've learned when they were uh ex you know i wouldn't say exile well yeah exile out of kemet right before it was egypt it was kemet because of what they people did to the 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 kemetic people how they brutalized them they rule with such brutality that a black the black king from the north right um he rose up and with the help of uh two nubian queens right which they don't tell you about there's two nubian queens that actually helped him uh defeated the hyksos 
So the Hyksos are actually these, uh, they're the, I wouldn't say the direct descendants, but they were the people who uh, were driven out of Kemet. Again, they wasn't, they were not slaves. They were, they, they were people there. They, they, they were rulers, right? Their leaders, they were rulers. And when they got kicked out of Kemet, um, you know, uh, King Moses made a bargain with them that they shall go and leave untouched, right? They will leave Kemet untouched. They will not be bothered, all right? And because they were afraid of the Assyrians, right? Uh, the 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 Asiatic uh, people, okay? They settled in the desert or what is called today the Middle East and created a town a city called Judea right and this is where Judaism comes from right because they took what they've learned and they were worshiping and practicing not really worshiping they were practicing in Kemet you know you keep using the word worship in Kemet but in a uh, Kemetic uh, spiritual system they, never, they didn't worship anything they practiced things these uh, figures that they call gods are not gods. They call natures. They are the the um, representation of human characteristics and animal characteristics within us. They are the correct. They are the um, they are they are the depiction of our humanistic instincts, right? Our consciousness. You know, so they so they use these uh, entities to represent that. For example, we talk about Horus. Horus is the, is the represents the fal the falcon, right? The all seeing because the falcon fly highs and has a very powerful vision. You know, so when they say God is all all seeing, they got that off of Horus. You know, Horus is all seeing, right? Because Horus was the representation of the falcon. Okay, but Horus was also a representation of of the of the child, right? Of the child, just as uh, uh, Isis. She is, she is the uh, number 32. Oh, check out the license plate on this vehicle. K I, uh, not K, but K L L 2232. See that? You guys think I'm bullshitting, right? That's a black uh, Nissan Altima. K L L 2232, right? Uh, so, uh, anyway, uh, before I got distracted, I was, you know. But that, let me just side step and talk about that for a minute. But this is what happens when they do stuff like this, particularly when they use her or they use Pam, manipulate her or what have you. What have you. Uh, they figure that they, they, they'll, they'll gin up anger and frustration, jealousy within me, you know, and then they start, uh, um, you know, sending these subliminal messages, right? Because all of a sudden you start, I'll start to see cars with a license plate KLL show up. You know what I'm saying? Just as with the number 32. This is with the number with the letter um, the letters J E A, right? And I talked about that, about an aunt that I had who died of cancer, her name was Jean. Alright, so you know when they and again that's to say how, how much they research your history. They look back into your past, they, they try to find, you know, they go through every detail. And you know it's a government program because the government have, is the only one that's capable of doing this. Okay? I mean to this extent where they're they they can hack into the the um, the transit system, right, and track you using your metro card. The police is part of that system. Understand that, okay? The FBI is part of that system, okay? And so, you know, I think the reason why um, I haven't gotten a new, uh, you know, uh, reduce. Uh, transit fare card is because right is is because they know that they're hacking into their transit system to track me okay they know that <laughs> so yeah So, yeah, there you go. So anyway, let me get back into so the Horus thing, right? Uh, and Isis, not I shouldn't say Isis, but I said and I saw, you know, 
these are the children of Pata, right? Pata is the what you will call God, right? The Creator, right? But 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 Pata isn't a person that's in this, you know, that that we can look up to and 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 say, okay, this person watches over us. Pata is just the creative force. That's what it's called, right? The cre that creative nature. That's Pata. Okay, so if you want, you know, remember, God is a German word. You know, they never they never used the word God in ancient time. The Romans never used the word God. Okay? They didn't. The, the, the word was, they used Caesar. They, they worship Caesar. Right? In Kemet, or Egypt as it's called today, you know, the word was Netter. Right? Nature. All right? These are the, the natural... Uh, yeah, another another uh, gray car making a U-turn. Hope you guys see that, right? And all the cars tonight are making U-turns are great. You know what I'm saying? So how this is how they how they how they send you some similar message, right? And you know, gray is a neutral color, okay? So, but uh, nobody's neutral in this, okay? <laughs> you should understand that this is something that they that they want you to to think that uh, the people who who run in this program is is neutral. No, they're, they're not neutral. Okay, they have their side, and 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 if you don't join their side, then you know they'll destroy your life, and they just basically want to control you and shut you up about what's going on. That's basically it. So anyway, so you know that's just the, you know, Pata is the you know he, he you know um, let me see if I'm saying this right. Is it, uh, Pata, yeah, well, yeah, I gotta go. Yeah, you know, sometimes my memory is a little wonky, but yeah. But you know, this this is this is what happens, you know. And so, see, they got me sitting here, you know. <laughs> I gotta wait. I have to wait a whole. It says like 24 minutes and shit for the next bus come, which is kind of ridiculous. But that's that's what they do, man. That's that's what they do. You know, they got they got shit planned, so they want to keep me out here, so they can you know target me. You know what I'm saying? And that's 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 basically it. And I I, sh I could have taken the other bus back and catch the 46, but you know. Whatever, I guess, you know, it's a good thing because I'm actually showing you what's, what's happening in front of me. Um, so, like I said, these are uh, uh, the, the natural instinct, natural characteristics of who we are. Okay? Just as in Kemet, they saw the woman, the black woman, as the universe, right? Because within her they you know she has the creative ability to create life within her okay now we as men we aid in that creation by you know by our our what is you know by our divine waters right our um divine which is the sperm right you know so your sperm is liquid okay even though it has this little living organism in there but it's still it's a liquid form right you know what i'm saying and it's not a seed the egg is a seed if you look at nature right what do plants grow out of they grow out of seeds okay and the earth is the the earth is it houses the seed all right so the earth is the body that houses the seed and, and water helps to grow the seed right water is what helps to grow the seed okay so when men say that you know oh, uh it, it, i have my seeds that, no those are not this you you can't have have a seed because the seed is something that needs to be fertilized so it grow I understand how uh, patri European patriarchy I got this shit turned backwards, okay? So anyway, um, you know, just just talking until I guess the, the bus comes. But yeah, this is what's what's really happening and what's really going on. You know, so this is their retaliation, you know, for me doing what I'm doing, which is, you know, taking a stand. And it's a stand that they don't like, right? Because, again, they have her convinced that, you know, if she... Be you know, believe in her Christianity, her God, all this stuff is going to happen, and then this and such. And it's like, no, it doesn't work like that. 
you know it doesn't work like that you know you have to put in the effort you have you have to do the things that you need to do you know I mean for me I have I put in effort and you know my efforts are being met with uh, you know with uh, difficulty because there are people out there that are actively and uh, conspiring to do me harm and to uh, destroy everything that I try to accomplish and they've been doing that this is not, you know they have not, this is nothing new they've been doing that you know what I'm saying like I said when you start looking back at the things that were happening to you even before you became overtly aware of being targeted you were being targeted you know what I'm saying? So, yes, my target became overt in 2001, 2002. But it, my targeting went way back. Okay? Because when my brother was a target in the mid-90s, I was also a target. I just didn't know. And they were sending him the same type of subliminal message about if he, you know, if he doesn't follow along what they say, then this is going to happen to me. Right? So that is how I know. You know what I'm saying? And so this is why, like I said, I have to train my kids and teach them... Uh, you know what's really happened and tell them the truth so that they understood and understand what's going on you know what i'm saying so yeah uh, my party days are over though uh you know i mean i, I, I can go to parties but it, it would but doesn't make any sense i'm not going to enjoy it <laughs> you know what i'm saying because they've got people there targeting me you know so you can't really enjoy it and plus whatever rumors they're going to be spreading and what have you such and such so you know saying yeah, anyway I had enough of that when I was young anyway, so yeah uh, right and then another thing that they try to do also is that I try to keep it isolated stop talking from women then they try to get you to talk to women right so it's, it's always a confusing message right it's always going to be a confusing message and that's why I say as TIs you gotta you know figure yourself out and what it is that they're trying to do to you and then you just have to take a stand right you just you just have to take a stand and realize and understand that you need to stick to that for a while and take a stand that's going to be beneficial to you, right? As in my mind, your stand doesn't have to have to do with hurting anybody. Just a stand that's beneficial to you. That when they try to send you these double messages, these conflicted messages, that you know you don't feel conflicted or you don't feel confused because you've already taken your stand. Like for me, not getting into another relationship, not talking to any woman that I, that try to smile at me because I know that you know they use honey traps, right? And to just you know expose what's going on to a point where you know there is enough exposure that people become more aware and understand that they've been deceived and lied to, and then they can take a stand against it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, that's what you got to do. All right. So my bus is here. Finally. Alright, I'll talk to you guys in the next video.